Hey guys, welcome back. What was I thinking? Closure wigs is so much easier than frontals. Literally less than 10 minutes I put this in and it's good to go. Yeah, this is another Amazon wig. So if you guys like this, keep watching. So this is gonna be a start to finish how I install my units. So here's the construction inside of the wig. Here's the closure. Yeah, it needs a little love, a little plucking. But we're gonna use Wella in 30% developer. And then I'm gonna put that in the closure area and let that sit for about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we're gonna use Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. I'm gonna rinse out the bleach from the closure and then we're gonna use the Shimmer Lights. I'm gonna let it sit for about maybe three minutes just to make sure it's not orange or brassy. So here you see me just rinsing it out with lukewarm water and then I'm gonna go in with the Shimmer Lights. What I like to do, I like to use the Shimmer Lights and then I like to go in with my regular um, shampoo my Tresemme whatever shampoo up your like and then rinse it out after that so yeah here I'm using the Tresemme this is the volume shampoo and then I'm gonna just do one washing of that and then we're gonna go in and apply conditioner So yeah, I'm just gonna put a small amount of silicone mix conditioner on my unit, just a little bit, and comb it through and then dry my hair. Yeah, so that's how the closure is supposed to look perfect. So now after my unit is dry, we're just gonna go in and flatten it a little bit for plucking. So I like to use the Cream of Nature Argan Mousse first and then use the hot comb to make sure everything is pulled back so I can see the hairline and make sure that the hair is super flat. So you're gonna see me just do this for a minute. Let's see. <laughs> And then I'm gonna start tweezing. Um, I went a little heavy handed and I accidentally like made a hole in the lace. So when you do this, just make sure you're taking your time and you're being slow with it and not rushing like I was. But now I'm doing the second half. I'm just making a little part in the front and then going in the back of the hair and tweezing a little bit more to make sure this hairline looks really good. Now I'm prepping the hair before I even install it. So I'm using the olive oil heat protectant serum and I'm putting that throughout the whole hair. And then I'm just gonna flat iron and smooth out the hair and prep it before I apply it. I find that it's easier to do it like this because I, you know, it's hard getting in the back of your head and seeing the back of your head sometimes. So it's easier just to prep the wig on the mannequin and then when you apply the wig, you know, you could just fix it and alter it to your liking. This unit fit pretty snug. You can also do a glueless method, but I decided to use the Kiss Lace Glue. I did two coats and made sure it dried clear, and then I adhered the closure. So now I'm just going to adhere the closure 
I'm just going to pull down and use the back of my comb to kind of push it in. And now I'm using my small little scissors in zigzag motion just to cut out that closure. You want to really take your time and just go up and down, up and down in zigzag motion so it gives that rigid look. And then now I'm using my Fantasia spritz to make sure that the lace is melted. So I'm just spraying a little bit and using the fan to cool and kind of melt and hold See how melted it looks? Now I'm gonna use my elastic band and wrap it around to make sure that it's extra melted. And while we're doing that, that's when I'm gonna go in and kind of perfect the unit. So I'm gonna flat iron part and straighten. So here I'm just using my Care Care Wax Stick to just define the part and make sure that the wig is flat. And then I'm going to use my hot comb and comb it through. So now we're getting into baby hairs. So now I'm tweezing a little bit, thinning out the front, and I'm just going to do two little swoops. Nothing too crazy because y'all know I'm not the big baby hair type of girl. So I'm just going to do two little swoops and then I'm going to use my Gorilla Gel to kind of lay the edge and swoop the baby hairs. So now we're going to do the parting. So I'm going to use the Ruby Kisses foundation in shade 13. So I'm going to go put that and then I'm going to do the root touch up from Kiss in the color black and just perfect and clean up that part area. I'm also going to use my olive oil shine and now I'm going to kind of perfect and sleek the hair. Even though it's already straight, you know, you just want to flatten some parts. And there you go. This hair was so quick and easy. Like, what was I thinking? This is my go-to now when I want a quick look. Like, I totally forgot about closures. So yeah, get into it. Yeah, yeah. Look at the back. <laughs> you see me smiling? Yeah. So I highly recommend this unit. It was easy to install. It looks very natural. And it was perfect. <laughs> 